Hi there, this is Alfred Lyon, and uh, I've been trying to make a smoke machine for a long time to be able to check like uh, evap leaks and whatnot uh, on my cars, and uh, I tried the paint can one with the air compressor hooked up to it, and that just didn't quite work out too well. So I saw this one on uh, YouTube the other day, so I'm going to try it. Basically, you take a pickle jar, and uh, I got the uh, 24 fluid ounce one, and you take a cheap soldering iron and you take a big pin okay so you got a big pin and you drill a hole for the soldering iron one for the uh, the pin part and one for the lid part and then what you do is you screw that on there you attach a standard bike pump to the pen side and you attach a uh, tube to the other side and you put a sock in there put some baby oil in there you plug it in then it makes smoke uh, what I had used to attach the uh, the pen and the soldering iron is this uh, epoxy quick setting stuff you got to mix up I got it all got it at Harbor Freight pretty cheap and uh, then after I g did all the gluing I let it set for 24 hours like it says so uh, next I'm gonna uh, put the uh, baby oil in there and uh, I guess you, the guy said about a half inch on the bottom and let it soak into the sock really well and then I'm gonna plug it in and see if it makes smoke so it's only been a couple of minutes and I feel like I can already see some smoke. But I'm going to wait till it's really smoky in there before I uh, try to blow any smoke out. But it really feels like I'm seeing some smoke. So I'll wait a little bit longer. Feel just a little bit of heat coming out. Or on the glass, not much at all. It's only a 30 watt soldering iron, which is what the guy used. So we'll see what happens. If I can get more smoke than that, maybe I need to introduce some air or something. Let's see a little bit. Oh, look at that. You can see that, right? Let me see if I can get something black in behind it. Okay. That's smoke, my friends. And apparently the mineral oil shouldn't kill me either. It's a little stinky. Wow. So you hook that up to your car, I bet you can find a leak. Barely using any pressure on this thing. And you don't want a lot of pressure introduced into your EVAP system anyway. So look at that. Thing is working. Okay, I've waited another two minutes. Now watch the stream of smoke coming out of that sucker. Amazing. Amazing. 